Today we are in Cicero, Indiana at the Cicero Cemetery visiting the grave of Ryan White. Ryan White was born December 6, 1971. He was a teenager from Kokomo, Indiana. And unfortunately, and you've probably heard of his story before, but if not, unfortunately he gained notoriety when he received a blood transfusion that was given by a contaminated donor. And as a result, he was diagnosed with AIDS in 1984. Now this, and you've probably seen this in the media, this really kicked off a nationwide debate when Ryan tried to return to school once he got his diagnosis and he was told that he couldn't be admitted to school which sparked a lengthy court battle. Western Middle School at the time faced enormous pressure from parents and students who were I mean really just ignorant as a lot of people were in those days about HIV AIDS they were just ignorant to the facts of the uh, of the virus and the condition and, and they kept him out unfortunately once he was readmitted he did face verbal abuse and ended up going to a, uh, a different school which uh, the principal at that time from what I read did, did welcome him with open arms but you know really just a story that captivated America at the time and we want to pay our respects to Ryan White here today in Cicero Indiana the Ryan White story was a movie that aired in 1989, a story about his life, and I think that may have been, I mean, other than news stories, that may have been the time where the most most of the people actually was introduced to his story, but due to this, you know, he did receive an outpouring of support from, from celebrities. He was contacted and um, met different people, and some of those who contacted him were, uh, were Elton John, uh, Michael Jackson. You'll actually see on this headstone that there are some quotes on there from both Elton John and Michael Jackson. He was also reached out to by uh, President Ronald Reagan. Unfortunately, you know, as the condition worsened, he did check in uh, to the hospital and Ryan White passed away uh, in April of 1990. There were 1,500 people that attended his funeral to pay their respects to Ryan and some of those who attended Elton John, Howie Long, uh, Phil Donahue, Michael Jackson, and First Lady Barbara Bush all attended his funeral uh, when he unfortunately passed away. And yeah, he became really, he, he became the poster child for HIV AIDS in this country. And the, uh, the Congress actually enacted the uh, the Ryan White Care Act, which does provide emergency funding for uh, HIV AIDS, and you can check out more about that. It was a snowy day on this day that I made the trip to Indiana to, uh, I did several cemetery visits, but this was one that I definitely wanted to get to and wanted to pay my respects to Ryan White. And I just can't imagine what this young man faced in his life. And I read a quote from him one time, and he was talking about this, that he would trade all of the notoriety, you know, everything that, you know, all the celebrities that contacted him just for a normal life. And I think that's a, a very, I think that'd be a very common statement for all of us. I mean, he didn't, he didn't ask for this. He was stricken with a, um, you know, some sort of blood disorder that required him to have a blood transfusion. And you know, he just wanted to live a normal life like, uh, like most kids do. If you see there, Kid of Courage, Ryan White, December 6, 1971, April 8, 1990. And you'll see there the quote from Elton John, Turn me loose from your hands, let me fly to distant lands, fly away, skyline pigeon fly, from all the things you left so very far behind. Love, Elton John. And there are different quotes. Uh, you can see there, Friends Forever, Michael Jackson. Uh, he reached out to, uh, to Ryan White and befriended him at a time that uh, that he needed it most. And, you know, fortunately there has been, you know, a lot of strides made uh, for understanding and research about this condition. So never want to fail to, when I make my visits, to show the, the human side, even, even the celebrity graves that I visit. I mean, there are human sides there and in my videos, I like to, uh, to find those and tell those stories. Kid of Courage, Ryan White, I do want to thank you all for joining me on this. I'm going to show you a few more clips of the uh, 
of the stone. Very peaceful area here at Cicero Cemetery where we visit the grave of Ryan White. And I do show you a few clips of what the, uh, the surrounding areas and such look like as well. So I uh, tried to bring those out in the video also. But again, thank you all for watching. I've got links in the description where you can find me. Facebook, Instagram, merchandise. I do want to thank you all for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, I ask that you please subscribe. I will see you again soon. Thank you.